All right, guys, welcome back. We are at Market on Main here, a special extra at Prey Tasty Tuesday with the Tyler's Travels team at abccolumbia.com. Chef Howard Stevens here from Market on Main, a fantastic restaurant. This place is, is really cool. We're going to take a tour in a couple of minutes, but yeah, yeah. really cool and, and basic to extraordinary food is what you have. And you've got oh, all kinds it. of great stuff. We try to do an eclectic, I like to call it like an eclectic American menu. So we've, we've had some eggs, we've tried the burgers. Let's going to get, yeah. we're going to get a little exotic, a little exotic. A little bit. We went Mexican, then yep. we went American, yep. now we're going to go kind of a little mi Middle Eastern. All right, and that's okay. going to be quail. Apparently, yes, let's, we let's have quail. so we have some local quail from our friends at Manchester uh, okay. Manchester Farms located in Sumter. So he's like a little mini chicken, correct? And people get freaked out sometimes about quail, but they're delicious. Put a little bit of canola oil, all right, on, on top. these, yep. All right, we're and good. Then we're gonna oil put, these guys up. Then we're gonna put our seasoning, so all a little right. bit of sprinkle of that. We want to be sure you cover every part of it. So sometimes, it's, it's, yeah, there you go. Put your hands on it. Beautiful. Mom always said, Don't play with your food. That's she right. was wrong all these years. This is a tar. Okay. This is a Middle Eastern uh, spice mix. Here, take a smell of this yeah, real quick. It's, um, it's there has, you go. Uh, take a sniff. Go ahead. Yeah, it's <laughs> it smell has, a vision. It has coriander, it has cumin, it has thyme, oregano, marjoram, oh. and it also has sumac, which is a great Middle Eastern citrusy, peppery kind of a herb. Pretty much, uh, guys, spice, excuse me. go to your spice rack in your kitchen yeah. and just smell the whole thing at once, and this is what yeah. you got. It's very flavorful, very aromatic. It. So we Put them right on the on the grill here. All right, and again, where do you want your grill setting? Is this thing going to be on high, I like, medium? I, like, I never I never put our grill on um, like all the way up. We usually try to go for a medium high. There you go. Did I do that right? Yeah, there we go. go. Spread out a little bit. And what we're going to do is that that grill. Okay. It's going to take about two minutes per side. Okay. Okay. So what we do is we have we have a green couscous we've made. Okay. So we put chili in here, pistachio. Uh, we put cilantro, parsley. Oh wow! Uh, that's what gives it this green. That's what gives it this green look. So this okay. is Moroccan couscous with all those herbs and spices in there, pistachio. All right. And what we so for the for the this is on our dinner menu. So what we do is it's already been cooked, and all we have to do really is it's kind of heat add, it up, right, add it to the point? pan, like this, and then add a little bed stock. And again, guys, you might notice we're talking low heat. That's yeah. one the mistake that a lot of people make, I, I think, anyway. I is think so, You, you, too, you crank yeah. the heat up and you cook the heck out of it, and really low kick cooking slowers a little better. You can control it better. Correct, and, and you can always adjust it. I see people crank it up, walk away before they know it's something's burned. It's like a haircut. You can't unburn a chicken. <laughs> Correct. You can't so, uncut your hair. So we're going to stir this. Mm -hmm. You see the you see the pistachio. Oh yeah. It's got a lot of herbs. It's got a little heat from some um, some serrano chili. Mm -hmm. And it's got, like I said, the, the um, it's got a little bit of dill. It's got cilantro. It's got that. parsley. It's got a, it's very aromatic. All right, so chef, they are good to go. I'll go ahead and I'll get these guys off. looking good. Maybe give them one more flip. Let's look real quick. All right, that looks some, good. Yeah, we're getting some color on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. They smell Beautiful. fantastic as well. All right, yeah. let's All right, let's put them on the plate. All right, let's this guy off here. We'll get this guy off here. All right, let's, let's move them over down. here. We'll plate it up. And it's good to let your meat sit for a couple of seconds. You don't want to go yeah, right, from, you, the, you don't want to right from the pan into your right. mouth, right? You want, you, want it, you want it to rest as much as possible. Okay. That helps let the juices redistribute. Right. That's why you cut your steak or your chicken and it runs out over your cutting board. It means you didn't let it rest long enough. All right. So we go there. We just take these, simply cut them in half. See, right. that, that's what you're looking for. Oh, It's that's not beautiful. overdone. It's yep. going to have that little slight, slight pink. Yep, and that's perfect. And our juices didn't run too bad. We could have let it rest a little bit more. And then we just simply plate it up. And oh, it's, look at that. It's totally acceptable. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Nobody will judge you. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then I always like to throw a little bit more of that, that Zatar spice around. Very aromatic. And uh, it's like it's a nice. Middle Eastern barbecue rub. Wow. And green couscous. And that's right here, guys. The uh, Market on Main, right on Main Street in downtown Columbia here. A Tasty Tuesday Extra. Chef Howard and the team, what an awesome, awesome dish. Guys, put all the links right here. Come down and try You can try this at home, but it's easier if you let this guy do it. He does it very well. Although I did help a little. You did help. You did good. He did the heavy lifting.